Alright guys, uh, today I'm going to show you, as I told you in the last video, how to make a live Twitter feed. Basically, this guy right here. Now, live in terms of uh, it's most updatable. It's not Ajax, where it goes out and gets the latest, uh, uh, the latest Twitter tweet and displays it. Um, that's something we could totally do, and that may be the next thing we'll do. But for now, um, you know... Not sure how how much point that would have because, yeah, it would look cool for a second when somebody's on your page. You have to have a lot of traffic for somebody to be on your page at the time when you make the tweet. So, depending if you really want to do that, is something we'll work on. Maybe we'll do that as to teach you how to do it, some Ajax. But in this one, basically what it is is it's this box here. It's three components. You've got your your picture, your avatar, your last tweet, and the date at which it was tweeted. So if we go back, we go over to Twitter, and I'll just do a new tweet. Um, you know, midway in the recording, right? And hit update. So it's going to update Twitter here. And if I go back to uh, my home page and refresh, okay, it's going to let me refresh. Oh, that's right. We have to write the code. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so first things first, we need a jQuery plugin. Quote quote. It's a modified plugin by me. Um, you know, I don't know if I was allowed to modify it. Hopefully, I was. I'm gonna post it online for you to look at. It's this file right here. It's really not that long, and I'll go through with it with you real quick. Basically, this is the start of a jQuery plugin. Don't worry about it. It's going to define this single function, okay? It's going to use your username, the avatar size, which we're going to specify in our JavaScript file, so we don't have to touch this file ever again, okay? It's going to say how many tweets you want. We just want one. What the loading text is going to be, and an optional search query. Again, don't worry about any of this. Um, the, these functions right here, all of these, are basically um, regexes, okay? Regxp that search the text coming in from Twitter and replace it with links, okay? Basically, you know how if you have an at somebody, it creates a link to them. So these functions are going to create those links automatically, so it's just like real Twitter. Then uh, it's got a function to create the relative time. So based on the time at which the tweet was taken, it will calculate it and then say whether it was less than a minute, about a minute, a couple minutes ago, an hour ago, how many hours ago, or a day ago, or X days ago, okay? It's a very useful function. Actually, this function is really great as a utility function for your utility file. The next section is basically building it, the tweet. Um, it's going to create a list, which is basically a span element that I've modified, and then another span element for loading. The way this was done before was with, was with all divs. And the problem with all divs is that they're stacked on top of each other. I want span tags so I can put them in line with each other if I want. So these are going to be spans, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. Next thing is going to be the query, which obviously is not used. We can probably delete that. Um, now, what we're going to just leave this alone. Basically, the way this works is Twitter has a JSON uh, API that will get your Twitter account as a JSON object. JSON objects are basically a conjunction between different languages using JavaScript. Uh, I'm not really going to get too much into it, but it basically allows you to do, say, um, uh, if we want to find out who the tweet is from, the JSON object is going to be stored into a variable. And then, say this variable is called item, which it is, so the JSON object would have uh, properties. To get to a property in programming, you do use the dot operator. So the JSON object by Twitter has a from user property, and we'll do uh, item, the JSON object, dot from user is going to be who the user account is. Okay, That information is given to us using the JSON object. Again, not really getting into that, just letting you know what's what it does. So I, my modifications are basically, we have a date store and a text store as a link and a span tag. Leave these alone. Again, if you want to get into it, go touch it. Basically, um, I'm storing each, the way this came was all the elements were in one div. I'm storing all the elements in separate divs that you refer to separately so you can put them wherever you want. Okay? And then I'm creating... Basically, you have to have an element with the class date and an element with the class avatar, and that will fill it in automatically here. Okay? This file's done. I'll give it to you. Just use it as you will. Do me a favor. Change my name to your name. Thanks. Okay. Next, uh, let's look at the JavaScript in order to do this. 
So, uh, actually, before we do that, we need this section in here where we want this to load. I have this Twitter section that doesn't have anything in it. So let's actually, first, let's make this. So we'll create a table with the ID Twitter table because I have some styles applied to it. And we're going to set the border equal to zero. The reason I write this is because I like to test the tables a lot. So it's really quick for me to do table border equals one. And cell padding, I found, is the best five for what I'm doing. So next, TR, if I can type that correctly. Next, TD. And then we have a span. Now these are the two spans. We want the avatar next to the tweet. So it's going to be class equals quote avatar, right? And then we're going to close the span because these are going to be automatically filled in when the tweet is loaded. And then span class equals quote Twitter. Okay? So basically the avatar is the picture and the Twitter is the actual tweet. Maybe I should have called it tweet, but I made it Twitter. So the reason that this is the way the modifications I made is because now these spans will be right next to each other, whereas before they had to be on top of each other. We'll close that TD and we'll open a new TD. And the reason we're not putting these in table data cells next to each other is because I don't want a gap there. And I don't want to play with the margins to get them correctly. Okay? And then I'll just close off my table so I know I'm done. Now let me uh, fill in this last table with, uh, this is going to be a div. It can be a span. It can be whatever you want. I'm going to make it a div just because I already, I don't need to put two things next to each other. So if I can use divs, I will. I like them better because with divs, you can control the size. With spans, you can't. Okay, close the div. Basically, gave it the class of date because that's what I told it earlier. So now, okay, uh, basically, I have uh, this Twitter table with these three elements that I want to fill in. Okay? So, the Twitter is where is the, the definition of where this started from in the beginning. So this is what you have to pass into jQuery with that plugin we made. Okay, so let's go in the JavaScript file. Again, I'm putting this in my document.ready. So basically, this is going to happen when my document's loaded. You can put this on a body on load if you're not using jQuery, but you have to be using jQuery for this plugin to work because it's jQuery. All right, money sign, and we're going to get that dot .twitter. Okay, that's the main guy. All right, Twitter. Now, the function is dot .tweet. That was the custom function that's made. Bracket. Okay, now our parameters, actually, it's always good practice to close our brackets before we get going. Do, 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 do. Okay, our parameters are going to be the username, and the reason we're able to specify them here is because it was made that way, but another thing is we can change things here and not have to change them there. This overrides those default values. So if I change this to a different one, it'll load a different tweet. I'll show you in a second. Okay, next parameter is the avatar size, in case you want to change it. Um, it'll, the JSON object will actually have to tell it what size it is. Uh, 32 by 32 is what I'm using because it looks better. Count 1. I, my modifications probably break it for doing multiple um, tweets. I'll fix it later, do a video on it, and show you what it's like to do multiple tweets. For what I, wanted, what I was doing for my website, I didn't want more than one tweet, so I just modified it so it would work with one tweet. And I don't know if it broke it or not, I just didn't check. And then we can uh, specify the loading text because it also is going to say, you know, what's, what's it saying. So I'm going to generic loading tweets, dot, 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 and that's what it came with. Okay? We don't need to close our comma. We don't have any other comma because that's the end of our list. And that should be about it. So let's take a look and see if that worked. Loading tweets, and here's that one tweet we did midway through the recording. You can see that this is a span and this is a span next to each other, and this is a giant table data cell next to this table data cell. So now I can I can actually show you, um, you know, just finished doing the programming for the live Twitter feed. I have no followers, so no one is going to see this. I'm not that new. I'm pretty new to, to Twitter, I guess. I don't know. I've had it for a couple of years, actually. I just never really used it. Still don't use it. And update. So now I've got a couple lines, and the, this is the reason I did the table data cell. When I come back here and refresh, it's not Ajax, so I have to refresh. Um, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, so now you can see it looks a lot better when you have more text in here. That was the, the way I wrote it. So you have your, your icon next to the tweet I just made. Less than a minute ago, it was just made. So if people are coming to your site, they'll see the tweet that you just made. All right? So I'll post the, um, the JavaScript file.